Hi guys, so a lot of you have been requesting a really easy, natural, day-to-day -day type of look. So I thought I would show you my everyday, what has been my everyday makeup routine. So this is what I like to call no makeup makeup. Maybe blurring some of those imperfections, but really playing off your natural beauty and your natural features and feeling confident but still looking like you. That's the biggest thing. And uh, I did cheat a little bit, but I did apply some mascara. So if you want to go like full on no makeup makeup, go ahead and skip that or just do a clear mascara or something like that. But I wanted to show you guys what I actually do day to day. But it's up to you guys, it's really just a personal preference. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So to start off, I'm gonna moisturize and I'm using my Garnier BB Cream in light medium because it really gives me that radiant, fresh faced finish that I'm going for. This BB Cream does actually provide pretty good coverage if you build it up, but I'm just applying just enough to moisturize my skin today. I think now they also make it in an oil-free version for oilier skin types. Um, I don't have oily skin, so the original is the only one that I've tried so far. Now I'm applying this brightener. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circles Eraser in the brightening shade, which is a light pink. And I'm just tracing little triangles underneath my eyes. I don't like to blend away the center too much. I just tap out the edges to get rid of any, to get rid of any harsh lines. And then, I'm gonna switch up to my Cargo One Base in 01 is the shade that I use. So this is basically a concealer and foundation in one, and it's a really, really concentrated product, so you don't need a ton of it. But I'm gonna start off by applying it underneath my eyes to conceal my dark circles. I'm using this Real Techniques foundation brush to blend it out. It feels and it looks really, really lightweight on the skin. It's almost indetectable on the skin, so it's perfect for this kind of a look. And I'm gonna take a little bit more and apply it to just around my nose around my mouth where I have some redness, a little bit on the chin, and I like to apply it more towards the center of my face and then stipple it into the skin and blend it out towards the outer edges. So to do that, I'm using this Sigma F82 brush. It really helps to diffuse the product into your skin and blur any kind of imperfections you might have. Then I'll usually take whatever is left on the end of my brush and just kind of blend it towards the outer edges of my face. Don't worry if you don't have this Cargo One Base. You definitely don't need this for this look. You could use anything that gives you somewhat sheer coverage, like, um, you know, a tinted moisturizer or maybe even just a little concealer topped with some powder. I don't really like a lot of tinted moisturizers on my skin, so that's why I'm going for this, but just use whatever you have that you like. If you're going for that all natural type of look, you don't want to use a lot of heavy powders on the face because Powder never really looks like real skin, but that being said, I can't stand when my concealer creases, so I'm using a little bit of my Bare Minerals Well Rested on an E40 brush just to set my concealer. I'm just going to lightly dust some of my Benefit Hello Flawless powder, and my shade is Never Settle Petal. I'm gonna use a very, very fluffy brush just to lightly go over the T-zone. You can see some veins and freckles and things like that on my eyelids, so I'm using the Sigma eyeshadow base in Persuade, which is just a matte, very, very light beige color, and I'm going all over my lid with that from the lash line to the brow with this P82 brush. I had to put my rings back on. I just feel naked without them for some reason. So when I don't have a lot, um, a lot else going on in the rest of my face, I like my brows to be very light and natural looking because if they're just too severe, that doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna use this Sigma Brow Powder Duo in light and mostly the lighter side to just very lightly fill in any bare spots on my brows. And I'm using an E65, yeah, an E65 angle brush just to very lightly go through. And the best part about this is that you can really do it very quickly um, because a powder is definitely way more forgiving than a pencil or something like that. So I'm not going to be doing too much with the eyes, but there's definitely a few tricks you can do that emphasize the eyes without looking like obvious makeup. So I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Basics eyeshadow palette and specifically this color right here called Naked 2. And you can use anything that is a shade darker than your skin tone or even a bronzer would work really well. A lot of times I'll just use a bronzer. And I'm using an E40 brush to just apply that right above the lid onto the brow bone. It kind of frames up the eyes by creating a really natural looking shadow, but it doesn't read as makeup. And then I'm going to take this color in the same palette, 
which is called Faint. Basically just a dark brown. Any darker brown eyeshadow will work. Placing that color halfway onto the base of the lashes and then half onto the lid. So it's not even really lining the eye. It's almost uh, just darkening the lash line in that area where it would be darker if you had naturally a little bit thicker lashes. Resist the urge to smudge this and blend it because I don't think that, I think it looks more natural when you just kind of press it in. So I'm going to use the Multiple in Copacabana by NARS, which is a cream highlighter. So if you're going to use it around the eye area, just make sure you test it out first if you have sensitive skin. I've never had any issues with it, so I'm just going to use a little E30 pencil brush and just lightly trace that around the inner tear duct. I'm staying away from the lid because it is a creamy product, so even with the best primer it could crease on you. And I just want it to be, just give that dewy look on the inner corner of the eye. And it's nice because it doesn't put down an actual color. It just gives you that pretty radiance. And here's the part where I'm going to cheat a little bit. I am going to apply some mascara, the Maybelline One by One, which is a somewhat natural looking formula. I'm just lightly going over my lashes. It's up to you how far you want to take the no makeup makeup. I usually prefer to wear mascara day to day, so that's what I'm going to do today. But you can skip this if you want to. I think I'm actually going to take a little bit more of the Copacabana Multiple by NARS and just a little bit on my finger and lightly tap it onto my brow highlight. A little bit on the nose and the Cupid's bow as well. I wasn't going to use bronzer, but I think I'm just going to take a little bit of my Cargo Media Matte Bronzer on a really fluffy brush. This is an F50. And just lightly go around the outer edges of my face just to warm up my complexion a little bit. Make it look a little healthier. So then I'm going to go with a cheek color that I think looks most natural on my skin tone. So I'm using this Urban Decay. It's the Afterglow Glide On Cheek Tint in the color Crush. Now stick with me here. I know it looks really bright, and if you did just slather it on your cheeks like that, it would not look like no makeup makeup. But it almost has to be that neon pink color so that when you blend it out and apply just a very, very sheer layer of it, it does give you that look of, you know, this is my natural flush color, like after I've gone for a jog or something like that. It's going to be different for everybody, but keep in mind if you do, regardless of what color you choose, if you do use a cream product, it's going to mimic the natural texture of your skin a lot better. By the way, I used an F80 brush to blend that out. Okay guys, so I almost just ended the video without showing you what's on my lips. So before I forget, today I went with a tinted lip balm, and this is the Maybelline Color Whisper in Lust for Blush. I have been using this like nobody's business. This is an amazing color and uh, it's kind of one of those your lips but better type of colors. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and keep in mind you can totally tailor this routine to make it work for you. So you can add steps, you can drop out steps, you can use the products um, that you already have to make it work for you. That's what it's all about. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.